Hello folks, welcome back to Terminator Resistance. On the last episode, we uh, searched around here in the warehouse district for some missing resistance soldiers and stuff. And now we're off to the docks to meet with Commander Baron. The infiltrator is back. Commander Baron wants to personally make sure that we stop it once and for all. I'll, meeting, I'll be meeting her at the docks to try to figure out our next move. You're still alive? Good. Apparently Skynet's got a real hard-on for you, so we figured why not use you as bait? Aren't you afraid that Skynet will bring a lot of firepower if they know we're both here? Afraid? No. Prepared for that eventuality? Yes. We've got eyes on the ambush site from every angle. If anyone shows up, it means they were listening. What if it's one of our guys, or just a scavenger? Too bad. We can't have anyone or anything sabotage our plan. Not this time. This time? We were very close once before. For years, we've been preparing for the final attack. But it took just one man to fuck everything up. That day, Perry... Our previous field commander died, and I inherited control of South Division. Since then, I've been making sure that no one fucks up again. We've got movement. Take position. What do you have? A hooded man's walking down the street. Might be a scavenger. Rivers, you saw him. Is it the same model? Is it the infiltrator? I can't tell. We're waiting for your signal. I think that might be it. You think? Or the stranger. Good enough for me. Cease fire! Cease fire! Target down! I repeat, target down! Go check him! Eyes on the target. Proceed with caution. Is he dead? What the fuck? It's the target! You can't get away. Fire at will! Oh dear. Are we doing a boss fight? No! He's in the open! It's in the open! It's a fucking machine! Oh, he's tough. It's back against the wall! We got it now! What the fuck? Everyone on me! <laughs> Saw that coming. It's carrying a second generation plasma rifle! I want it! it I want fucking it. Die. Shoot! Can I have the plasma rifle since I'm doing all the work here? Surely it's not leading Take us into cover. a trap. Oh. Hold on now. Open fire. That's one ugly son of a bitch. Now. It's inside! What? Where? I'm gonna get clocked by this thing. Rivers! Rivers, we're trying to get through. You can't let it get away, you hear? <sighs> you insist. Damn. Even f 
see it. There he is. What's that? Whoa. Oh, back up. Getting aggressive. Oh dear. Okay, we'll just loop you around. How about that? Oh God, oh God. Stuck on nothing. What are you doing? Hit and run. I don't think so. Shit bird. Oh. Oh, I thought he threw a grenade. What you doing? Commander. Oh. We got it. The random exploding was a little Good bit irritating. Job, Okay, the, infant, inf the infiltrator has finally fallen. Its hyper-alloy combat chassis was much more resistant than before. Our weapons were outmatched. We could barely handle one of them on its own. We, wouldn't st we won't stand a chance against an army of them. But the real reason the infiltrator was Skynet's best weapon yet was because of its skin. There was no doubt anymore. Skynet had created a cybernetic organism. It was designed to blur the line between a man and a machine. People started to think that there were Terminators amongst us, wolves in sheep's clothes. Some of us left, even though we hadn't seen any other infiltrators yet. Or at least, we didn't think we had. And that fear of not knowing was what turned the tide of this war. That night, Skynet won. Uh, I still have to run some tests, so f for now I would say no. We need some more time, Connor. I know you don't want to hear this, Commander, but if there's one person who can help us, it's Dr. Mac. Mac? It, we don't even know if he's alive. He is. He's in the Hollywood Hills. We knew a time would come when we'd need him again, so we've kept an eye on him. Wait. You've been watching him without telling me? Let your emotions cloud your judgment before, Commander. That's why I decided that Mac's whereabouts were no longer this your bullshit. concern. bullshit. He can't just magically fix all of our problems. He's a man, not a god. A man that makes that's mistakes. Enough, Commander. You know what happened last time. He's the reason Perry's dead. I said that's enough. Sergeant Rivers? Yes, sir. Techcom believes that being marked for termination is a badge of honor. A sign that we're doing something right. We wear it proudly. Knowing you're wearing such a badge, Rivers, is all I need to trust you with handling this mission. 
Commander Baron will fill you in on the details. Good luck, soldier. Over and out. Looks like you're going to Hollywood Hills. Dr. Edwin Mack is the one who taught us how to use Skynet's weapons, so there's a chance he can do it again. Take him that second generation plasma rifle and see if he's able to reprogram it. If we want to use Skynet's weapons, we need to bypass their encryption lockouts. How will I find him? He's obsessed with surveillance. So when you get there, look for any cameras, biometric sensors, or any other tech stuff. He should be around. That's it. And here we are back. Ooh, look at, look at that though. Can I use it? Bet you I can't, can I? Um. Oh, it's not even showing in my inventory. All right, let's chat these people up. What do you need? Um, anything I should know about Dr. Mack before I leave? Only that he can't be trusted and he's highly manipulative. So you need to stay cautious. Was Mac the one whose drone you smashed? Yes. Yes, it was. I've never told this to anyone, but... Before I met Mac and Perry, I was wandering alone. Didn't have a map, so I drew one myself. The first people I came across were two guys. Old enough to remember Judgment Day. We camped out together. They gave me advice, we shared some stories. Sounds nice, right? See, there are still good people out there. <laughs> they weren't good. Although, not cutting my throat in my sleep makes them more or less gentlemen. When I woke up, all my things were gone, including my map. There I was, lost in the desert. Thirst and hunger. I knew I was gonna die. I passed out with my face in the sand. But next thing, I was lying in a bed, bathed and wearing clean clothes. You're lucky someone found you. Someone did find me. Too bad it was Skynet. Through the window, I saw thousands of Terminators. First, I thought it was a work camp, but it was something else. A Skynet research facility. They kept me alive, but I didn't know why. I thought I was the only human there. But after a while, someone came into my cell. A man. Well-dressed, clean-shaven. You want to take a guess who that was? An infiltrator. In a way. He was a traitor to his race. The bastard was selling every piece of knowledge the machines didn't have. In return, they gave him everything he wanted. When he was done stuffing his face with food, he had another request. He wanted a whore. It lasted months until I got to wrap a towel around his neck and make his eyes pop. You don't want to see people for what they really are. I've seen their true face. That traitor, those two guys in the desert, Mac. They all showed it to me. It's not pretty. The truth is, the only reason I fight for the Resistance is because I despise people just a little less than the machines. Cheery. Okay, let's read this note real quick. Research log Dr. Alvin Scott. After careful analysis, I've come to the conclusion that under a microscope, the infiltrator's skin is indistinguishable from, from that of a human epidermis. We have approximately the same amount of nerve endings as humans, they. The skin is covered with hair follicles and sweat glands are functional. For all intents and purposes, the Terminator skin can be categorized, me, can't speak, categorized as living tissue. It's advised we learn more about how the skin reacts to various forms of stimuli. Perhaps the results could provide us with an idea of how to do, sorry, how to distinguish them between, how to distinguish, fuck, words with an idea of how to distinguish between Terminators and humans. 
What's even more impressive is its cardiovascular system, or should I say the vascular system, considering the infiltrators did not possess an organic heart. The pumping of the blood is carried out by a mechanical circulatory system, which is also responsible for filtering the blood. The cell count is nearly identical to that of humans. Its blood is a form of biofluid and should be handled with care. It's imperative that we avoid contaminating the sample. Can't read today. Damn. Sure, let's trust someone who gets called Dr. Death. That won't bite us in the ass. In the meantime, I'll see what I can learn from the new CPU we acquired from that infiltrator. This could be the breakthrough that we've all been waiting for. I need to concentrate, so please don't disturb me. So you're just gonna stare at it, huh? Okay, I won't bother you. Jacob, do you have a minute? Of course. I've heard that you're going to Hollywood Hills. Well, with Baron yelling like that, the whole shelter heard. He wanted me to tell you if I needed anything, so here it is. When you get to Hollywood Hills, could you stop by my old house? It's near the Griffith Park tennis courts. I wonder if Peter went there and left something for me. I know he'd be stupid to go there since now it's behind the Annihilation line, but then again, he was always full of stupid ideas. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Yeah, you're picking up side quests, so I'm guessing okay. it's going to be another um, he never talks to anyone. He just sits open there. zone sort of space. I bet he's one of those machines. Don't be shy, Rivers. Turn up the volume. All right, man. See, I knew you'd like it. God damn it! <laughs> I thought I told you I can't work with so much noise. I need absolute silence, so please stop that. Why do you think Skynet doesn't have their? I swear, I should just join Skynet. I don't. Oops. What happens if I get in his way? <laughs> you know, you me, okay, okay. Done. <laughs> okay. I didn't see you there. Is anything okay? You seem far away. Nothing can get past you, can it? I've been thinking about the day we met. I never told you how we really ended up there. You can tell me anything. I know I can. That's why you're the first person I'm telling this to. That day, Loud hammering woke me up. When I came downstairs, I saw my father nailing the window shut. Through the crack, I saw them coming. Hundreds of metal heads and their red eyes. Even though they're just empty shells, I could feel the hate radiating from them. What did you do? I made Patrick stay upstairs and went back to talk to my father. We argued for a minute or two, and I tried to pull him away from the window. He pushed me away. I tried it again, but he shoved me. This time I fell. I didn't recognize him as he was reaching for a shotgun. He said, I shouldn't worry about the machines. They wouldn't hurt us. I don't even remember how. But the gun was already in my hands. Closed my eyes and went someplace else. Didn't even hear the shot. I didn't hear Patrick's steps either. 
He saw you? He did. He was staring at me like I was a stranger. He didn't scream or cry, he just stared. I threw the gun away, grabbed Patrick, and tried not to notice the hole in my father's unmoving chest. As we ran, I could hear them coming, so we found somewhere to hide. Then you came. I wanted to tell someone about all this, but I was afraid to. I'm glad you did. I am too. We talk a lot about how heartless the machines are. And I started to think that maybe I was too. I probably would have convinced myself of that if it wasn't for you keeping me sane. Thank you for everything. I never thought I would find a friend in times like these. Where are you going? I'm going out scavenging. Don't worry. I'm past thinking about running away. Knowing how much you'd miss me made me not want to leave. Where's Patrick? He's getting ready. I'm taking him with me. I figure it's time for him to see what's out there. Okay, you have fun with that. Is it, is it true? I'm a human now? Calm down there, sketchy. All right. Well, what's with the dog? Uh, they've been like that ever since they brought that thing in. All right, let's boot this up. Oh, wilderness. Dr. Edwin Mack is the only one who can bypass Skynet's encryption lockouts, allowing us to use their newest weapons. I need to travel to Hollywood Hills and bring him that second generation plasma rifle. This looks like an interesting uh, change of pace here, going out into the daytime, into the forest. It's cool. But uh, I think we'll stop here because I'm assuming this is going to be a big old zone uh, for me to go around and explore. So we will do that next time. So see you guys later. Take it easy.